It's Mr. Cleveland, by the way. Thank you. Part nine of the series. Uh, I feel like we've been doing pretty cool. I feel like we've been doing good. Part nine, we got one more part. 100 things that I hate, but this is top 10 things I hate. Part nine. So, once we get a minute in here, we can start talking. Uh, how y'all doing today? Y'all good? Yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hey, we can start. Number one, being miserable slash miserable people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Be being miserable is one thing. Being miserable, oh, miserable people is another. Now, me on the other hand, how I feel about it, I'm just waiting to the minute. Hurry. Minute, all right. Miserable, being miserable slash miserable people. Keep that shit at home. If you miserable, please stay at home. If you just, you know, like, like being miserable is like, you just keep all that type of energy. And nobody wants to be around no miserable ass person. Like, like, God damn, we, you know, you only get one life. Live, live, please live. If you feel like something make you miserable, let it go. Let it go. Go live. Go enjoy your life. Like, what's the fucking point of being miserable every day? What is that really going to do? And then being miserable towards other people, just being a miserable motherfucker is like, really? Like, is that really going to change anything? Honestly, though, is it really going to change anything? You being miserable, oh, oh you're not going to make it, oh, oh, this is boring, oh, oh, I hate it. You want to go, oh, it's boring. Hey, let's play Lazy Oh, it's lame. I ain't too old for that. Oh, all right, bro. Get your miserable ass on, okay? Get your funky miserable ass on. Go cry on the pillow. Go look outside the window and just keep huffing and puffing. We don't care. You're miserable. Move along. Number two. Crypto, stocks, all that boring. All <laughs> crypto, stocks, all that boring. All boring stuff like that. That shit boring to me. Like... I like when I get older, I know I'm probably like it. And it's best for me to probably try to know about it now. Because if it can't make me money, I probably need to learn it so I can make me some fucking money. And hopefully, you know, it works. But I'm gonna be honest, like, I can't just act like this shit ain't boring. It's boring. I don't know how like people do it. I'm not knocking it. It could really make a lot of money, but it just, it don't interest me enough. Maybe just the young and be, I don't fuck it up. I don't know. I just think it's all boring. And a lot of people. I don't know, put a bad name on it because they be doing scams and shit. So it just makes me feel like it's not believable and it's boring. And I can't trust it. And I feel like you got to have a bunch of money to, to really play the type of game. Because this little side money is better than nothing. But it's like, I mean, I guess it's you can put in the same amount you spend on a DoorDash order or whatever. But it's like a DoorDash order or whatever. But like I was saying, um, yeah, like, yeah. Same amounts of dough that's order, and I guess you can invest that, but it's like at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. I just think it's a little boring. Do I really hate it? I don't know. I guess it got such a bad name, kind of makes me question it. I don't know. It's boring, though. Number three, reading. Reading is boring. I'm going to be honest. I don't like to fucking read. I, I listen to audio book, though. I sit there and listen to somebody read or something like that. I really don't enjoy reading. When I see when I see something long, I kinda try to pass somebody, hopefully they read it and if they start reading like uh read it out loud, read it out loud. Like I do that with my girl. Like I just don't like reading. <laughs> like reading is boring. Like it gotta be really interesting for me to read. Like, oh Giannis, triple double, thirty six, fifteen, twenty. You know what I'm saying? Like some shit like a quick stat, like reading this like sports, like all right, cool. Somebody got traded, cool, but just reading my own purpose. Like, I don't like reading. I don't like reading. Number four, self improvement kind of. This is kind of like the rest of the shit. Uh, oh, I wake up at four, and the first thing I do is get brush my teeth, wash my face, and then I go work out at the gym at 4 15 p.m. all the way to 5 15, and then I cook me a quick breakfast, egg whites, and Toast with avocado, and then I make me a little coffee with a side of green juice, and I wake up and I just look at stocks all day, and just wake up, and this is what the ninety nine percent of people aren't doing, and it's like, oh my gosh, bro, like, 
Yeah, self-improvement. And but I said kinda though. Self-improvement, kinda. Like kinda. Not always. I just feel like self-improvement was something that was watered down eventually. It got ran to the ground. Like it was something that was supposed to be good. It was supposed to be good, but people was hopping hopping on that wave and kinda watered it down. And now it's it's it's, it's trash. Nobody gives about it no more. Uh, they they messed it up, especially with that wake up at three fourteen p.m. and you oh know, I don't know. I just get pissed off reading shit like that. Yeah, I eat food and I eat no bullshit food. All pool just bullshit. Video games bullshit. Be on your phone, social media, but like oh, yes, but like dude, it's okay to have a life work balance. Every little thing don't have to be this fake schedule that you running like. This is how the not the one percent get rich and the rest of the thing like you fraud. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. You made up some bullshit routine. You just made up something. I don't know. Uh, <coughs> number five. Seven twenty five in twenty twenty four. Really? Minimum wage in general in twenty twenty four. Knowing the times that we living in. Knowing how hard it is to live. And niggas still getting away with like single digit numbers as far as pay. I was working at Dollar Tree earlier in the year and it wasn't that long ago actually. And they was paying me eleven fifty. And it's like I'm in twenty twenty four in a recession. If you're struggling to pay bills, shit is going up and you're paying me eleven fifty in twenty twenty four. And I was watching a wire and they was talking about one of the jobs like twelve it's like bro they was even getting paid more than me in 2004. It's just a show, bro. No, there were real wages back then. That was good money back then. And I'm getting paid less than so-called good money in 2004. It don't matter where you live. You shouldn't have to get $7.25 an hour at any job in 2024. Unless they still live in the old time, everything you still can afford and save money at the word. And uh, number six, gatekeepers. Gatekeeping for what? Oh, I can't talk about this new artist. No, don't tell nobody about it. Gatekeeping for what? What are you gatekeeping for? If it's good information that can help, why not help? What are you gatekeeping for? That shouldn't be annoying. Oh, don't tell anybody about this. I just want to, like, I get it at times, but, like, at the same time, it's kind of cringe, bro. Like, at this point, make your own thing and make it one-on-one or something. Like, don't buy something and try to get keep. It's just annoying. Number seven, AI. AI is annoying. It's good and bad. It's good in the sense, like, damn, you know, technology. Look how far technology has come. It's bad in the sense of, like, even Google's technology. Anytime you look up something, you always do the AI overview, and it's like, Damn, one day I'm gonna miss the old Google and I can already do. But AI in general, it can be bad just based off of like people faking photos, people faking songs, people just faking news about people. And it, I guess people can cheat, but that's kind of good though. Shout out AI. Um, but um, overall, like people can cheat and shit. Oh, well, well that, that, I just said that was good, so let me. Uh, I'm getting lost in the sauce. Uh, but yeah, I feel like if it's gonna take y'all a job, then like shit. I mean, take all the wear off job. I'm cool with that. But like, damn, like I'm taking everything. Niggas still gotta get paid and get eat, right? But yeah, so it's good and bad. Too. I'm, I'm just not a fan of what they can do, all that fake bullshit. It can get a little scary. And then niggas finna be start having sex with them and shit. It's like, whoa, weirdos. Look. I'm just say this now. If y'all want, no, I'm just kidding. Um, number eight, body positivity. I don't believe in it, especially if you big as hell and they like, oh, it's body positivity, ain't nobody shaming. Motherfucker, she's five three, six hundred pounds. What is it to be positive about? Seriously, why are we being positive about? She's five hundred. She's she's six two. I mean, she's five two. 350 pounds. What is it to fucking be positive about? She's beautiful. Stop capping. Do you want her to die? Do you want something really bad to happen? Do you want something really bad to happen for it to click? 
So stop with the bullshit. Stop lying. Stop trying to make all this bullshit up. Fat food. Like, stop making up words. It doesn't exist. Body positivity for when you take care of yourself, not just when you're not taking care of yourself. We can't support it. I can't let that slide. I can't just say this positive. That's me lying to you. You want me to fucking lie to you? <sighs> she looks really good, man. No, the fuck she doesn't. You fucking lie. <sighs> Number 10, not having a courtesy is the small things that count. I thought. Not having the courtesy. Um, oh, yeah, like, for example, I work at the job, my security job. I'm going to tell y'all what fucking happened. I fucked up big time. Um, but basically, like, cars are parked in a parking lot, and I know they're really not supposed to, but it's like, I know sometimes you should be a little tired, you know, you just leaving work. Sometimes you want to just get away from work when you get off, so... You kind of just get away from this, the workplace. And sometimes you just go somewhere and sit down for a minute before you have to go home, see your family. You know that's going to be something. But, you know, you just kind of want that a little long time before you go. And I know sometimes, like, people could just park and that's why just, you know, let these sales wander off into whatever. And I just let them sit there. You know, I don't say nothing. I don't, I know they're not supposed to be here, but it's like, I know they're not breaking the stove. So it's not really much to say. It's an abandoned ass parking spot. I mean, park a lot, it, it shouldn't fucking matter. Like, I just let them just chill. Some of their family pull up, they chop it for a little bit. Did they all dip? Because that's the thing. They already know at some point they all going to dip. Sometimes they even fix the tire out there. They might get their car drunk. I don't say nothing. I don't bother nobody. Because I know it's just the human that in me. We all human and cool. Um, You know, just, just doing little things. You know, little things like, oh, I'm short. Um. Shit, that TV is too long. I'm short. Um, fifty cent on this cake. Can I get it? Go ahead. Like shit, like that. Like you know what I mean. Like the little, it's the little things. Oh, um, hey, can I get a sauce packet? You know, and it's probably like thirty, fifty cent. But you just go ahead and let them get it. You know what I'm saying? Without even charge. Like you know, like it's just the card. You know, like the little things like that. What happened to the little things? I thought that would matter. You know, those are things that matter. So the thing that I said I did hate was not having that courtesy. Not looking out, not showing love, you know what I'm saying? Just a little thing. Nobody said get them, let them motherfuckers go all the way and go crazy. It's just one little shit happened from time to time. Why not? Because I remember being at Kruger, and it was the time this woman came. She wanted a balloon blowing up, and my coworker guy, he didn't blow up the balloon for her because it was from another store. I know you're talking about the helium expensive, but it's like, you could just blow it to blow. Just blow it to blow. Bro. Like, it's not the shit, bro. Like, it's not the end of the world, bro. We're not going, we still can get paid. We're not really losing money. It was somebody's birthday. Just blow the damn blow. If I knew how to do the machine, I would have done it. But just, I just feel like you should have blown the blow. But that was just all beside the point. Uh, But just not, people not having per courtesy, it, 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 it kind of pissed me off a little bit. But um, it was a good bid. It's going to do it for the bid, though. That was part nine. Part 10, the finale is dropping pretty soon. I ain't going to say tomorrow because I probably want to wait a couple days because that's the finale. So we're going to go out with a bang. Probably be some honorable mentions. Probably not. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, just stay tuned. Uh, that's going to do it for the bit. I'm enjoying the series. Let me know if y'all enjoying the series. I feel like I'm enjoying it. I would definitely say this feels better than yesterday's. I can be honest with myself. I feel like I had it. Like, I feel like it was a slow start, but it, it, it definitely got hot. It definitely started to pick up. Like, I feel like it now kind of waving down a little bit, but I definitely had a hot moment. It was definitely better than yesterday. But, yeah. I was going to do for you to be like, I'm scratching. I'm good.